Hi guys, as you might notice, I am um, in a different location. I am at my grandma's beach house right now for the weekend. I have a baseball game at the beach and we decided to stay at my grandma and grandpa's beach house. And I got a special um, action figure today and that is the Marvel Legends Corsair. And this guy I've been wanting for a while and he fits kind of perfectly in with the beach vibes because he's like a pirate. So yeah, let's get into the review. Starting off at looking at the packaging, um, on the front there is Corsair with his gun right up there and his sword and his sheath. And then it says X-Men down here and the classic logo. And then flipping to the side, it has, um, Ch odd i don't know how to say him i am not familiar with him i'm not familiar with most most marvel legends figures so yeah and then there he looks pretty cool this figure comes with his um uh right arm and um it can show it highlights what um figure he is and then on the back it has a cool picture of him with his gun and his sword and then the picture of odds arm and then he comes with two extra fists and then going on to the other side he has some cool artwork right there and yeah so let's get into opening him up so taking a look at coarse hair out of the box have him right there he is very cool um, and he comes with a lot of cool accessories. Um, he's a very cool pirate guy. I really like his look. So, let's get into, um, his accessories. So, first off, let's get this out of the way. He comes with two fist hands. I don't really use the fist hands much unless he doesn't have any accessories, which he does have accessories. So, I'm not going to be using these much, but they still do look pretty cool. And, yeah, I like how they look. Um, I think these are, like, the Vulcan fists, um, and I think he uses some of the Vulcan body, um, I can show you that later in comparisons. Then he comes with this cool laser pistol, um, right there, it looks very cool, as you can see, it's gold, so, yeah, and then he comes with his cool pirate sword, um, I think it's very cool, um, and, yeah, so let's get into articulation and detail so taking a look at detail he has this like emblem on his chest logo and um he has his collar and his belt and his bandana his hair is like a brownish blonde kind of it's more brown to blonde but still looks pretty cool he has a handlebar mustache um that looks very cool and then he has his gloves um and yeah and i think these are supposed to be boots but i don't know i don't think so though um and yeah that is pretty much all for detail so let's get into articulation so starting at the head he can look up not very far because the collar back there kind of runs into actually he can look up that far look down pretty far actually looks pretty fairly decent and then it could swivel all the way around now his head's super loose um so what the heck there's like a thing taken out of his ball joint it doesn't really matter but it's just weird to me and then going down to the shoulders there's butterfly joints right there and then his arms can go up very far actually past 90 and then they can swivel all the way around and there's a double elbow way past 90 almost all the way up and then he has a wrist hinge um it does not go in and out it's a trigger finger for this hand so it goes down and up and then it he also has a trigger trigger um 
wrist at his on his other wrist and so going down to the torso he can go forward that far crunch backwards that far pretty good and then there is a swivel at the waist and then his legs can go up that far like 90 degrees and then it can they can go all the way up and they can kick his butt and then um he has swivels at the calf and then um ankle hinge and rocker that is pretty cool um so yeah so let me get all his accessories and his hands we stick his sword in this hand and then stick his pistol in the other hand just like that and yeah so let me get him into a cool pose okay so let me get into my final thoughts on this figure but before i do that let's talk about the build a figure piece so this build a figure piece he has is a giant arm for uh chad and um it looks really cool i think it is the abomination with the fins um i don't know about a much old older marvel legends i recently started collecting them like actually not that recent like a couple years ago um when I started to like action figures. So yeah. Um I think this looks really cool. It's some good articulation, but it's not pinless. And I forgot to mention, um uh Corsair is pinless, so yeah, that's a plus. So let's get into my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on this figure are a nine out of ten. Um, I really like his accessories, and, um, I love that he's pinless. I only pretty much buy pinless figures now, um, because I really like how they look, and, um, this is controversial, kind of, but I do, um, like the windowless packaging. The window packaging just looks old, and I like newer stuff coming in, so, yeah. Um, before I go into any other stuff... I have some comparisons. So here is the Iron Man I recently reviewed and um he is in the uh a crouching pose. So they are about the same height. And um I do not have uh um what's his name? I forgot his name. Uh Vulcan on um hand right now, so let me go get him. Okay, so now I have Vulcan on hand. So, um, so, Corsair is actually Vulcan's dad, um, and yeah, I really like, um, I don't think they use the same legs, actually, they do use the same legs and same, um, just same legs all together, and then they do not use the same torso, cause, um, Corsair's a little older, so he doesn't look as buff, he still looks pretty buff, but not as much as Vulcan, and they do use the same arms, um, only the biceps, though, and the shoulder, actually, not even the shoulders. Um, they just use the same biceps. So, yeah, um, they're about the same height. I know, of course, there's in a crouching pose right now, but, yeah. So, that, so, as earlier, I did give this guy a 9 out of 10. I love that he's pinless. Um, I love his accessories. They're really cool. And this gives me the pirate vibe. So he could, like, um, like steal something. He could, could form a pirate gang. Um, I really like how this guy looks. I just really love him. And um, I really um, love his accessories, as I mentioned before. And the features, like, you could put his sword in his belt so let me do that so if you want to you could just stick it in just like that and he could just hold his gun and he can shoot 
and it's a good thing they gave him trigger finger trigger fingers because he cannot just normally the gun just points up like that so then you have to point it down kind of and shoot like that so yeah now you can have him in a shooting pose and stuff and you there is no holster for the gun but you can just set the gun off to the side and i like that he came with extra fists so yeah those are my final thoughts on this figure and i hope you i hope you liked the video and i hope you see i see you next time so thank you for watching if you made it to this point of the video and yeah so bye guys